If you're running a business today, you're likely using a lot of different online tools. And wouldn't it be amazing if those tools can actually speak to each other, if information can flow from one tool to another? In today's video, I'm going to review three different tools that can help you have that information flow between the various tools that your company is using. So let's jump in. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Before we jump into this tutorial, I'd love to hear about which tools you're using and which ones you are able to connect together. Write in the comments below and maybe that will help spark ideas for other people about which tools can actually be connected. The first type of integration that you can do to automate two different tools, so in our case, we're talking about monday.com with a separate tool, is to have a direct integration. So if we're in Monday, you can go over here where it says integrate. And you can see here that I see all the different integrations that Monday offers. So let's just use Gmail for an example. If I click on Gmail, you can see all the different preset recipes of what Gmail can do. So let's just take an easy example. I can choose this one. When a column changes, send an email to someone. So an example that we have in our company is when the column changes on our CRM that we want a deal, then we send an email to the different people on our team. So it's an easy, straightforward integration between Gmail and Monday. It's connected here within Gmail. And then you can set the parameters. So we're deciding like in this example, which column, what's in the body of the email and who we're emailing. Now you also can create custom recipes using this integration. So I can, let's say, if I would wanna do this as a custom recipe, I can, I would go over to manage and here I can hit create automation. And here I can say when status changes, which is what we had before, and I'll do email and I can choose send email. But if I want to make this custom, then I can edit it a little bit. So maybe I want to set a qualifier. I can say, I'm going to add a condition and only if item is in a certain group, okay? But what I'm doing is I'm building a custom recipe and I'm sending out an email. Just to summarize, if you go back over here to create, you can see all the different direct integrations that monday.com has. Here's a list of the different tools that they integrate with. Now, sometimes you have an integration on the other side of the tool. For example, with Slack, you can connect Monday and Slack from the Monday side, but you can also do an integration from the Slack side. So they'll have a different set of recipes based on the different types of integrations that you can do. Now, I find that many times this integration is good, especially the custom recipes, but you are limited. You're working within a platform. So depending what you need to do, you may need something more sophisticated than this. I'll just give you an example. In our company, we use MailChimp. So I actually want to send tags to MailChimp, like tagging like what campaign a person came from. And that's not something that you can do within, within this direct Monday automation. Because if you would look at the MailChimp integration, you can see here that there's only four options for integrations. So sometimes you need something that is more specific or more complex for your needs because you need an integration to be a certain way. And this brings us to the other two tools, which allows way more customization. So that way you can actually build exactly what you need. You're not as confined by the parameters of the Monday integration. The second tool that I want to talk about is Zapier. I'm not going to go into the details of exactly how Zapier works. I'm trying to just give you a broad picture of how integrations work and your different options here. So it will help you make a more educated decision about which tool you need to use. 
So here you can see I'm on one of Zapier's internal pages, and we're talking about specific Monday.com integrations. If you scroll down here, you can see that it's showing me that I want to connect Monday.com with one of these tools. I'll just use Calendarly as an example. This is the exact same thing as the recipes that we had on the Monday page. And here you can see that I have a trigger in Calendarly. And if I click this, you can see the different options. So these are the exact same things as the recipes. So for example, if I would choose this, I would say, let's say when an event is created in Calendarly, then what do I want to do in Monday? And here I have all of my different options of the things that can be done within Monday. So I'm using Zapier to have a, have a trigger and then decide what action I want to do. Again, I'm connecting two different tools, but this has a lot less limitations than working within the monday.com integrations. There's a lot more options here. I find personally that Zapier is a great tool if you are someone that wants to implement this yourself. You're not looking, you're not a developer and you don't have a developer on your team that you're looking to do this. Zapier can is something that's user friendly that people who are somewhat tech savvy and know how to implement Monday can also implement Zapier. And they can make a lot of integrations between their two different tools. Since we're reviewing different tools, I am going to compare this later to make.com. And Zapier is a more expensive tool in terms of pricing. And it is something that is a little more limited in terms of the options. So I want to take a minute to review make when we get there. But when we're looking at Zapier, the benefits are that you get a lot more integrations and a lot more customization than when you're working directly within monday.com. People that are not developers can figure it out. Like it's more user friendly. There is a price to it, which is something that you need to keep in mind. So if you think that you can figure this out, I recommend you checking out Zapier to see if that is an option for you. The last tool that I want to share with you is make.com. It used to be called Integromat. So if you're searching online, um, sometimes it says make.com, formerly known as Integromat. So here you can see that I'm actually in Make itself, and I just want to show you the option. So if I would click on this plus, just so you can see the amount of different tools that it integrates with, and these are like direct, direct integrations. You're using Make, but it's through Make. They have these set modules um, within Make. So just to show you in comparison to what Monday had, in terms of Gmail. So remember Monday we had those preset recipes, which you can do all of that in Make, but you also have other things like copy an email, create a draft, delete an email. Um, you can see all of these other options that we're doing things directly within Gmail. To summarize, if I would look at Make as a whole, Make is a tool that we personally use for our clients all of the time. The reason is, is that the pricing I think is very, very reasonable. Plans start at like $10 a month. So I recommend that you go to their pricing page and you can see the different plans that they have. Everything is based on the amount of actions that you're using. So obviously if you're using make a lot, it's going to be more expensive, but they have very reasonable plans. But above that, this is really a developer's tool. It's not super complicated, but usually developers are the ones that understands how to use it and they can really build something out really, really custom for you. So what you have here is you have a situation where you can really, really build something very complex that meets your exact needs based on what you need to do. It's not the simple integrations that you have Monday and it's even more complex than Zapier. So that's really the two reasons that we use Make all the time is A, the pricing is a little bit better and B, that there's a lot more complexity that you can do. I want to jump in and show you an example just to show you what it looks like so you can get an idea of something that you can do through Make. I want to share with you this scenario that we actually use internally. Someone on my team built it. And this is within Make, as you as you see, you can see here the logo on the top that we are working in Make. Now, the advantage of this is you can see there's a lot of different tools that are all interacting with each other. If you remember from the 
original integration, the direct one within Monday, it was more linear. It was like Monday to Slack or Monday here or Monday there. You can get more complicated, but it's not always within the same scenario. Here, you can see I'm working with a number of different tools. So let me show you how this works. The circles here are modules, and this represents a different tool. So here you can see this is Calendarly, this is Monday, this is MailChimp, and this is my Google Calendar. So I just want to explain what's going on here because I think it's I think it's a pretty cool use case. Basically, what happens is when I have leads come to my website, they sign up for a meeting with me via Calendly. So they sign up for the meeting. OK, I do get an email about it, but I really want those leads in my CRM. So what happens is through this make scenario, the leads are automatically entered into my CRM. They're automatically also entered into MailChimp. You can see here that they're entered into MailChimp. Now, the next stage that happens, which is pretty cool, is I use Fathom as my Zoom recordings. So Make actually sets, finds like the calendar ID through the Google Calendar, again, through the scenario. It pulls the Fathom link from my emails and it adds it to the Monday board. So that way, essentially what's happening is I have a lead come in. They're automatically added to my email marketing list within MailChimp. They're automatically added to Monday as in my CRM. When I have a call with them, the Fathom link, the recording of the call is also automatically added to my CRM. So this is just one example of why I think Make is such a good tool because you can integrate so many different platforms and tools together into one place. And you see how all of these tools, which have a different purpose, they do really need to connect and you can see right here how they can. I hope that learning about these three different methods of integrating different tools that you're using has been helpful. Another way that people are integrating different tools is using AI. So check out this video about different ways that you can use AI with Monday.com. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use Monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.